Hello and welcome to The Sheer Luck Show. I'm Olivia Wayne and joining me on the sofa today are Lou Huff, Laura Black and Heather Steele. Welcome ladies. Now coming up on today's show, we're going to be chatting to former Tatler fashion director, stylist and Sheer Luck's fashion contributor, Anna Bromelow, one of the most glamorous, stylish people we know and she's going to be walking us through her new season wardrobe picks and discussing her style rules to live by. So fashion fans, do not miss it. But first, speaking of clothes, we are all fans here of a white frilly shirt here at <laughs> Shilak, so I feel like you all are too. Um, there is a piece on today's site of our favourite ones from Zara, who always come up good with the goods, don't they? Why do you think, ladies, a white frilly shirt, as <laughs> models beautifully buy you, is such a wardrobe staple? I just love them. I mean, I think this would be my specialist subject. Really? Yeah. Is it one of your go-to things? Absolutely. Wardrobe full of them. And Zara, at the moment, are literally killing it mm -hmm. with them. They are so good. And they stand the test of time, Zara ones, I assume. Yeah. With yeah. That, you know? yeah. Also, they can sometimes go a bit grey, so yeah. it's nice that they don't grey. cost yeah. a fortune. I yeah. the only thing with Zara one is that often a number of people then will have it. Yes. Totally. So there's nothing like to kill a trend than when everybody is wearing it Absolutely. and you sort of like fall out of love with it, I think a little bit. So I think that's the Zara, I'm good at that. Yeah, yeah. that's the only, <laughs> only downfall, I think. What's, what do we look for when buying a frilly shirt? Like what are your things on a, for a frilly shirt? Because I guess some people have a high collar yeah. or like a Victoriana mm. look or some like a puffy sleeve. So what is it? Uh, number one is fabric. I think it has to be cotton. If you're going to be layering, obviously this time of year, it's really nice to layer with a big cardigan or a jumper or a cashmere. So if anything, it, you don't want to get you know sweaty. Mm -hmm. So you know white stains. So it's really, really important for me that they are um, a natural fabric. Um, I love an exaggerated collar. I got the mm. Gani one um, last year, and then I think Zara did with quite a few copies of that when <laughs> it had this massive oh, yeah. collar. So, so cool. I almost think the extravagance mm -hmm. is is best. And but that under a jumper still, you can oh, get it under, and yeah. it doesn't go oh, bulky. Oh yeah, because it, it just it just pulls out. Oh, right, I think a big sleeve is obviously much harder Tricky. under a jumper. Yeah. So I think you kind of think about what your accent will be. So think about how you're going to be layering it. I also love a sort of choir boy collar. Mm -hmm. I remember I've got one from Alexa Chung from her M&S range. Oh, yeah. oh yes, I remember when that came. Yeah. And it's kind of got pie crust, like that pie yes. crust colour around here oh, and yeah. then up here. I remember, it came um, in pink as well, I yes. remember it. <laughs> and that has stood the test of time. And I still, I don't know, if there's those days where you're not quite sure what to wear, you want to wear something quite like clean. And George always says wearing white on her on her top half brightens up her face. Absolutely. Mm. So I think it does. Is, that, is that a skin tone issue? Because maybe with blondes maybe, but sometimes... With a brunette, Heather, do you feel like it can white can get do the opposite? I'm not sure. Well, I, don't, I tend to yeah wear mine with black, right, so, so I probably it. don't have that issue. And you like a bold lip I do. with it? Yeah, no, so otherwise I do look a bit ghost-like. Because yeah. so. I could not wear white without all the bronze. <coughs> That's what you, mean. you know, because yeah, I really? would, I'd feel so washed out mm -hmm. with the pale. Oh, I palette. feel much brighter if I have a bit of white by my face. Mm -hmm. What about the makeup issue? Yeah. Is it just me that like with the high neck? It's like Again, maybe, maybe this says more about me and my bronzer addiction, but <laughs> is it all like foundation marks or whatever? Like yeah, you got to go careful. that about the Kardashians when they're wearing all this like stuff so close to their face and we know they're wearing a lot of makeup, <laughs> but how does that work? Put it on spray. <laughs> yeah, you've just got to be careful. I don't know, I don't wear foundation no. on my neck. I'm now thinking, am, no, I, am I making a mistake there? <laughs> no, but you don't want to like not? stop here. You, like just no. blend, blend in. Blend it, yeah. 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 And if it's a high neck, I mean, I mean, obviously Yeah, not. yeah, yeah. Oh, so you, Go none easy. of you have this issue. I've never Please, noticed Please, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and finally then, because we could talk about these all day and obviously there's a piece on the site about them anyway. Where's your favourite place to buy? Um, and also you can do kind of your dream place. It doesn't have mm. to be just the Zara High Street equivalent. So go on, where's your favourite? I think all the French brands do them so well. Sandro, Marge, Claude Piello. Cezanne have loads. Cezanne, yeah. Zimmerman, the dream. But oh, Zimmerman is the that dream. comes with a price tag. Yeah. <laughs> but also, is it worth investing in a white shirt, like a pretty shirt? Yeah, I, I got actually an Isabel Morant one a couple of years ago and I loved it so much I bought it twice once was just one was just like a plain white and one had like a little maroon um edging mm. to it so yes. and they were worth I, I actually got them both on sale but um I just knew that that was kind of a staple that I would have forever so I didn't mind investing in um but I, you know I guess if you know your look and your wardrobe yeah. and how you your, how you dress it's worth it yeah there's an amazing one um that I tried last week in 
Harvey Nichols from J.W. Anderson, and it is so cool. I think Polly had it actually um, oh, on. Oh, yes. Um, oh, that was amazing. Day, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it kind of had, like, the frill here and the, shul and the mm. shoulders and the sleeves were massive. It was just really, really I great. I mean, it's a great oh, evening yeah. piece too, mm -hmm. isn't it? What do you think, Heather? Where would you go for your kind of... <coughs> I quite like getting vintage ones, because this is second-hand. But, yeah, you kind of get the drama and uh, what's not. Not cotton, though, usually. Yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah why? They're all a bit more synthetic. I think, yeah, why? I don't know. God knows what this is. Poly. It's just a bit 70s. I think it <laughs> yeah. is poly, polyester. <laughs> I love that big bow. You can't, you can't oh, yeah. see it. Oh, yeah. It's got a bow bow on the back. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. on the back. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, I think Zara's good, because I can never quite iron white shirts well, properly. Yes, so, nice. cheap and cheerful for me. Oh, no, but I feel like you'll... Talk about steamers more than irons, <laughs> won't you? Those mm. things. Cotton, but you but need a, a good iron. doesn't give a stiff. Okay, line. good. So no, you so do need to iron. You yeah. sometimes need one. And there goes my love affair with frilly shirts. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, moving on. Another piece on the site is the Ainho shoot. Lou, you went there. Talk us through this oh amazing God, shoot with cool. Sophie Perkins. It was absolutely amazing. I've obviously seen a lot of pictures of the venue on Instagram. It's obviously such an incredible space for venues, marriages, parties, everything. But I was completely blown away by just like the magic within it, they, they, the way they have decorated it with the interiors, all of the pieces of art. Um, it's just, it's just like something you've you've never ever seen before. You walk around corners like, <gasps> yeah, it's like a, a Tim Walker. You know, Tim mm. Walker's old school f fashion photography, and it's just like fairy tale wonderland. Um, it was just completely, completely magical and so interesting to speak to Sophie about um, about the house and, and the kind of the development of it in the last 10 years and, and kind of how the user space is still developing. I think there's 12 new bedrooms that are um, they're renovating at the moment. So, you know, it, it's expensive, but it is such a cool... It's nice to have an experience on all levels, yeah. you know. On all senses as yeah. well, and they said as well. You know, if you if you hire the house or you're there, it, you really you can get involved with everything. There's no sort of ropes around. Mm. You can't. You know, you can touch whatever you want. You can sit on the chairs. You know, it's yeah. your home. It's not an um, art gallery. It's no, a, does yeah. that even include some of the kind of bigger things? Yeah, like the horses and yeah. whatever. <laughs> the giraffes. Get on it. It's just mad. It. Yeah, it is. It is just like. Fairy tale. It's just like Can your you imagination going crazy. Could you go for like tea or a meal just to experience no, it? No, I don't think so. I think right, you, have you have to, to stay. Yeah, yeah, you have to okay. rent it to stay. So, but but worth doing if you want a staycation, but yeah, it's really fun. Oh, for you, a party, that's yeah, just be the, the ultimate, ultimate place. I know you see like weddings or things come up and you're like, wow, that looks mega. And Trippy. the shoot that you did oh, was, so, when so Lou beautiful. showed me the pictures, I was like, almost got kind of shivers. Yeah. Oh, just, but you're so an interior. Oh, yeah. 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 Just love beautiful. It. But it okay. is, I think if, if you're inspired by, you know, that sort of magic and fairy tale and wonderland and it, not, you know, it's not real, it's not like an attainable aesthetic. So it's just nice to see something a bit bolder and more interesting. So much beauty in it. And speaking of... <laughs> Sorry, yes. there. <coughs> now, we all like watching other people's beauty blogs, YouTube videos, Instagram videos, whatever. Um, it's fascinating. Even if you don't wear a lot of makeup yourself or wouldn't do like crazy dramatic things. Like, it's always lovely watching Lisa Potter Dixon do hers on show. You know, you just can't help but watch and Becky do her bits. So, do you guys like watching them? And if so, why and what? I, and, and I, I'd say the three of you are probably the least um, high maintenance makeup people. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you wear loads. And yeah. So I just on. find you get sucked in. <laughs> and I, get, I find myself getting, like, without even noticing, I'm down a rabbit hole of just watching endless videos of people, like, <laughs> putting on... You know, if it's just foundation, I'm like, oh, my... It's so mesmerising, yeah. isn't it? You learn stuff. Yeah. Definitely you learn Great stuff. Great tips and tricks. Yeah, exactly. Actually, Lou got me into them because we were thinking of doing something similar. Yeah. And she started showing... Like, that evening, I was just kind of, like, <laughs> tapping away, watching all these videos, yeah. totally. I, it's like, I don't know, I just find it really relaxing. Yeah. Just watching. <laughs> and, like, I add to bags so much. Lisa Do is you? the worst. I know. Like, anything that she says, like, she was talking about primers the other day, and... <laughs> She, she was kind of going through different ones and there was this milk hydra glow, I'm going <laughs> yeah. to say. I probably said it wrong. And I was like, yep, straight away, £12 add to yeah. 
Um, I just, I absolutely but do love you, it. Do you buy or do you add the bag and follow through? Oh, yeah, yeah, I bought it and it's, and it's, I love, absolutely love it. And there's some Japanese skincare <laughs> that I would never have heard of. Well, that's it. You're being introduced to brands yeah. you wouldn't know otherwise, yeah. probably, and seeing them in real. I think yeah. that's the thing. You can see how to apply it and see what it actually looks like, perhaps on yeah. someone with your skin tone. Do you watch anyone that we might think, no way, and I'm not like, you don't have to name specifics, or like styles of makeup that... To be honest, I've um, watched a few sort of fancy dress ones in the past just to kind of get a bit of inspiration and tips, but general makeup, no. But I do sit next to Becky, the beauty editor, yeah, and oh, basically right. so just kind of watch her put it on and tips. try and like absorb some of her knowledge by yeah. staring at her. But what's interesting is if it's not an ad and therefore <coughs> I guess sometimes you can be a bit more mm -hmm. dubious about the products or the passion behind it. But if you see the same things crop up, yeah. like the same mascara that it is, mm -hmm. like, actually this is really great yeah. like research yeah. that you don't have to go and do yourself and waste money trying other versions. Yeah. You and know? it just, just, just goes to show that everyone's face and their, like, their skin is so different. Mm. So I don't think there's like one right or wrong way to do anything. So I just find it really interesting to see like how much of something somebody uses or where they put it mm -hmm. on or totally. how they moisturize. So, like, I'm so obsessed with um, how people get flawless skin. So whatever their foundation that is, or, I get <laughs> so sucked in by them. But I was watching somebody the other day and they just put like little dots here and <laughs> there and then use the brush. And I'm so kind of, I'm a bit slapdash oh, usually. Yeah, I'm very... like on my fingers. And I was like, oh, the next morning I was like, dot, dot, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All I would say is um, because I was on the Shit Ups podcast yesterday with Jonathan from Headmasters and about hair, and he was like, remember, Instagram, like filters and things yeah. can distort the reality <coughs> of yeah. how Sorry. things look. So if you're like, why aren't I glowing so much? Well, you might not have like a giant ring light on your face. Do yeah. you help with that? That makes <coughs> you feel so don't, don't, Yeah, don't feel bad about it. Like, just get all the lights. Right, onto a different kind of beauty and the beauty of Halloween. <laughs> It's next week, uh, next Thursday, in fact. Now, Vogue has released the most Googled Halloween costumes, with the top five being it, it. The clown. The, is that the clown? Yeah, yeah. Not cousin Pennywise. It. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, a witch, Spider-Man, dinosaur, and descendants. I assume Spider-Man just literally for, like, face paint. Accuracy. Dinosaur, I thought, was a bit weird. But I, about Halloween? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird. It's just for children. <laughs> well, Vogue, like, what? I'm so confused here. Anyway. Um, well, I guess. Are you going to dress up? You have children. Yeah. Do you get into Children, it? yes. Me, no. I don't like fancy dress. Sorry. I sound oh. like Scrooge. But oh. I know you're going. Yeah. yeah so what are you doing? What's your... I don't know yet. I need to decide. It's like 90s Halloween theme. So. Ooh, fun. Oh, like, what was that amazing movie? Oh, God. I mean... Scream? No. <laughs> the Four Girls. Um, it was like they were culty. Oh, what's it called? Oh, That's um, magic. <laughs> No, I know which one you mean. Oh, um, sorry, this is bad chat if I can't remember. Let's move on. Okay. Um, Lou, your um, view. I just don't like Halloween. I'm oh, so sorry. What? I've only been to one Halloween party, I think, ever. And I went as a spider. And I feel like I've spoken about my costume before, so I couldn't call you all. But I it haven't was, heard this. It was yeah. epic. We had tight, loads oh, of tights. Oh, yeah, filled the socks. Filled with a newspaper. Oh, right, and then yeah. they were, like, attached on cotton. It, it was cool. But I just... I don't know. I went to, once went to a party in New York on Halloween and I found it so disturbing because you basically just couldn't trust anyone. You just don't know <laughs> who people are and everyone I think there's America. a real threat with trick or treaters. Yeah, I was like, going to oh, say, put a mask on. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Especially the big kids. It's like, yeah. there should be a cutoff. Yeah. 7.30 for me, draw the line. And also, age <laughs> cutoff. Like, 15 yeah. year olds should not be up no, to no, the no, thing. No, no, no. It's terrifying. Um, I went to UCLA, so Halloween's big there, but it was that whole sexy. Halloween. Yeah. Mm, no, I'm not into like that. Like sexy nuns. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's an yeah. excuse. It's, and it just, yeah, I know. It's not right. No. And whereas we'd be, you know, like in Mean Girls and she goes, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it no, was well, very that's what like I like that. doing. It's great. Well, I'll be going as a pumpkin this yeah. year, <laughs> obviously. Um, so decorating. I. What about the home? I mean, I feel like it's for the kids, right? So would you decorate your home or get out like the... I think there's so much fit on Instagram at the moment with all these beautifully painted pumpkins. But, I mean, really, I'll probably just... Carve a pump. Yeah. Carve a pump. Oh, Maybe group yeah. a few little ones oh. by the door, you know, but nothing, nothing over I the live door. right by Jonathan Ross, who does this Ooh, epic cool. party every year. Oh, yes, yeah. And course, the street gets shut down and Ooh. he invites everyone yeah. to wow. come. You always see the photos but, the next day. Yeah, yeah, and then he has the private party for his friends, but he lets all the kids oh, cool. come. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not going to take Ozzy because it's terrifying. I mean, it's like a stampede. It's a mob. Yeah. And, I, and also, it's just... To, I mean, it's overwhelming for me, so I can't imagine for a three-year-old with costumes and lights Ooh, and, yeah. and ghouls, like props, yeah. eight-foot ghoul. Like, it's terrifying, <laughs> but incredible. So I think I'll just dine off that and, like, yeah, 
I hope they're inspired as well. Anyway, that is definitely all we've got time for on this. Coming up though, after the break, former fashion editor and stylist Anna Bromelow will be showing us her autumn winter picks. Do not go anywhere. Formerly fashion director at Tatler and now an editorial celebrity and personal stylist, Anna Bromelow knows a thing or two about good style. A regular Sherlock's columnist, we thought it was about time we got her down here to discuss her new season, Fashion Picks in Person. Welcome, Anna. Thank you so much. We have been so excited for you to join us. That's so and lovely. With such a fun, <laughs> colourful rail. It is. It's, it's not subtle, but it's a real celebration of fashion and pieces that are most definitely on my wish list. Oh that I found. so excited to get stuck in. When Good. Anna sent through her edit, there was all these amazing <laughs> brands coming through and we're, we're sort of partial to a neutral colour palette here at Shilla, so it's nice to get a bit more yes. energy into it. So Especially let's... in the build up to Christmas, I think, we can exactly. kind of celebrate fashion and be a little bit more adventurous. Okay, mm. fab. Let's start with some Sister Jane yes. dresses. So this is a London-based brand okay. it's based in Notting Hill um, that I oh, I've got a couple of pieces from them okay uh, they're quite outrageous very flamboyant I mean oh, who doesn't love this? outrageous and flamboyant but so fabulous but I so don't know if fabulous it's like it's got a heart print running it's through got a heart print well. running through um, it they're what's fantastic about them is that there are they are actually relatively affordable like yeah. this is about kind of 150 200 pounds yeah. which for such a couture like dress oh my god it's actually it's, incredibly exactly and if unusual. you get to Notting Hill they're also available on ASOS yes available on ASOS this has been on Instagram a little bit so you might not be the only person wearing this okay but it's still pretty fabulous it reminds me of um you know the think pink scene in funny face where they yes. all come out wearing just unbelievably fabulous pink dresses yeah uh oh, i would adore this um, um, amazing all the Gorgeous. sort of parties you've got you know yeah. weddings occasions yes so so fun and there's kind yeah. of a little something for everyone so if i can yes. the red one as well yes. um this one's a little bit shorter that one's got a lot of fabric but if you're looking for something not, i'm not gonna say subtle but um you know a little bit more relaxed maybe Yes, it's kind of baby dolly, yeah. uh, the perfect Christmas dress. Yes. And what's possibly good about this one, because that might just swamp, I mean, luckily it's got the, the cinched in waist, yeah. but it's a little bit shorter, so it, you can have your legs on show, yeah. so it doesn't look hugely tent-like. Yeah. But again, this is, I think this is £85 so, of ASOS and, and has a bit of a yeah, Valentino pounds. look to it. So yeah. I think it's a great purchase. God, and if you're into kind of collars and details, just oh. a tie around the neck as well. It's so, yeah. it's so festive and it's, it's fun so as well. It's nice to have fun, I think, this time of year as well with your clothes. Exactly. And then this is an, another oh one. Oh, my God. Which, oh. So this is very kind of Erdem, Cecily Bunsen-esque. Yes. The volume and the weight is crazy. Yeah. Just exquisite. I mean, I... Call me mad, but I would actually wear this during the day if I had little cowboy boots or small boots okay. and a chunky knit. Oh, I don't think it just, I mean, it's quite full on. It is, but it's, but you know, it's not do. a subtle look and you might as well just like embrace it. And, you Absolutely. Know, we and beautiful a... detailing with these um, little crystal yeah. buttons. So it's actually pretty good quality yeah. for high street. And it's thick as well. Mm. It's, God, I, I literally love it. It's so amazing. The shapes are just, it's so <laughs> interesting as well. And you're right, there's a lot of that Cecily Bahansen look um, that's exactly. kind of filtered down onto the high street as well. So exactly. if you're into that trend... 
it def is definitely worth try it. Um, next up, uh, Anna Mason. She, she is one of the most lovely people you will ever meet. Yeah. And her, she's got such stellar credentials in fashion. She used to work for Karl Lagerfeld, for Valentino. So she was based in Paris working for these people, came back to London, set up her brand about six years ago. Yeah. It's just so much fun. She's quite a good person to follow on Instagram. Yes. She has her little tribe of Anna Mason yeah. um, colleagues and they do such fun things around London, generally They're looking so fabulous. Beautiful. They're are... so gorgeous, oh those God. three ladies. We are such um, huge fans of, of Anna here at Share That's George oh, and I actually good. went to her boutique, um, to, sorry, to, um, to her office and kind of went to look yeah. around the collection. It's so nice. So amazing to see her new pieces for the season. Um, and when I went to see her, her press presentation, this really stood out a mile for me. I mean, as you can tell, I, I love a bit of a, an animal print, <laughs> but it's quite unusual to have this really oversized yeah. dramatic leopard print going on I love the length of it the detail is beautiful with these rough ruffle edges and all this detailing along here yeah it's I mean it's a it's real expensive. piece isn't it it is yeah, expensive it's... but it's it's a you would keep this forever you, and you can also belt it so you can style it differently yeah. but it's um kind of a 1960s grand it's dama so, fashion it's so look fabulous. that I, I absolutely love yeah amazing may I ask a question yes you um <laughs> I'm five foot nothing. Yeah. So would I lose a lot of the drama of that, therefore, if I had to well, shorten I, it? Or You can go and do an appointment with her and she will make this for you bespoke. So you could essentially... So proportions would be correct. So, so she can change the proportions wow. of it and you can do like a, a, a midi version of it. But this one... Yes, you would oh. be swamped in it. I think because that's a thicker fabric as well. The sort of the silhouette of it is a little bit more kind of out you know not out is a little bit more dramatic i think but she also does so many different fabrications which maybe would suit somebody's slightly shorter yes right okay so. yeah i think so there'd be something for you yeah thanks <laughs> i'm on my way anna <laughs> <laughs> um this is a gorgeous dress from other stores oh, i mean we love all love other stores this. but i think it's quite an unusual dress for them this kind of quite pristine yeah evening um, really dress. pretty and I think you know from afar you'd think this was a baby blue and maybe not a colour you'd automatically associate with autumn winter but because it's got this like metallic thread running through it yeah. it gives it that party vibe as well which absolutely I love. it feels quite festive yeah the sleeves are beautiful it's got nice detailing with this waist with um this uh flared so hem beautiful. going on and I also think if you're if you're having a winter wedding this is this is kind of great bridesmaid fodder. Oh, yeah, no? definitely, definitely. And also, I would take that off and put your own belt on it. Exactly. And kind of, you can really accessorise. And it's it's exactly. a good price, this one. Yeah, this is around um, 80 This like that. is, um, God, I can never find this, £85. Pounds. Yes, there you go. So, so good. So re really good, that does not look high street, no. 85 quid. I don't know we were talking about this, but lush with like a big cardigan over the top of it oh, and a jumper. You can, like, you can really layer it up. Absolutely, nice like, long white boots underneath yes. it. You could you could wear this during the day as yes. well. It would really suit you. Love that. One. Um, next up is, this is actually my jumpsuit um, that oh. I am vaguely obsessed with so from good. Frame. So I saw this when I was in Moda Operandi doing a press thing and there was a stylist in there who, who was trying on some of the couture that was being shown yeah. and got back into this. Yeah. So I was completely diverted and said, like, where, where is that fabulous jumpsuit from? I'm generally quite obsessed with jumpsuits, yeah. especially denim ones. And there's so many points of difference. Oh my God, in this. So, so I much. love it so much. So I immediately called them up and said, I've seen this jumpsuit. It's not online. Can I order it? Yeah. Um, it's slightly 80s, but yeah. not too much. I love what's going on here with the epaulettes. Um, the double breasted thing oh, is The double gorgeous. breasted is really what makes it for me. You're right. There are so many boiler seats jumps around, but you don't see this. And that's what you kind of makes it this. feel unique and different and, and, and the cool. sleeves are slightly wider as well and you roll them up yeah. so there's just a generally just a lovely shape going on it, it it's a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. but you just will not find this cut no. on the high street and what shoes would you wear with this i've worn all sorts i've worn my um gucci print stands with it i also wear boots yeah. over the top which oh, i'm cool. massively into at the moment yes. a look i kind of haven't Worn for a long time, but I'm, I'm really loving it. Yeah. Um, so make it look a bit Isabel Moranti. Yeah. Um, yeah. So or, cool. You could dress it up for evening with heels. Roll the, roll the trouser leg up a little yeah. bit. I also love this with like a black roll neck, fine roll neck yes. underneath as well. Yep. If you know, kind of, you know, you could definitely have worn this in the summer. And I think as you're kind of going to winter, layering exactly. up as well. Exactly. Um, you know, it's, and it's they're, ju they're just so easy to jump suits. Really you don't really well. have to think about it. You whack it on and you're yeah. done. Great. Yep. Cool. Next is a, it's another Anna Mason 
number, which I absolutely adore. This is actually a belt. So you can wear it in this kind of A-line, yeah. more relaxed style, or you belt it. Okay, great. Here. And this is kind of her signature style blouse, it is. isn't it? She's it got is. this high neckline. These amazing, um, amazing big puff sleeves. And then gorgeous, yeah. like gl almost glass buttons. They're just oh, so they're, beautiful. Oh, they're completely stunning again there. Yeah. Here, up in the collar. And I love that metallic thread running through it. It just I feels love, a little I'm bit I'm such festive. a sucker for a metallic thread, I must say. I've got so many pieces similar to this. But this, this, the quality of this yeah. is quite stunning. It's so heavy. You could dress this down with a pair of jeans. Yeah. You could wear it with a long A-line leather skirt for Ooh, evening. Yes. It's really super versatile and, as we're saying, such amazing quality. Yeah. It's, it's a forever love, actually, I yeah. think this. Beautiful. And I'm always on the lookout for interesting black tops. Yeah. They're quite yeah. hard to come by. They I are. Feel they sometimes. are. You always get a little bit of something of interest, and I think with the yeah. shape and the sort of the small like lame detail running through, it's kind of it's Gorgeous. a bit of interest, but it doesn't overpower it. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Oh, so many good pieces. <laughs> Next up, good old Zara. Oh, God. I, I oh, love sequins. Lauren. <laughs> oh, Laura. Uh, yeah, yeah. Laura, yeah. Laura just yeah. sat forward. <laughs> yeah. But I generally. For me, anyway, wouldn't spend a huge amount on sequins. No, agreed. <laughs> You're just not going to wear them tons. No. And I think Zara does a pretty good yeah. job with them. I think we've done a number, actually, of Zara sequin-only edits yeah. because they really are the best place on the high street for them. These are, these are fab. They're kind of Saint laurent -y. Yeah. They um, are slightly sheer, which I, I yeah. love. They've got a bit of a harem pant. They have got too. a harem pant uh, look to them. These are just great with, you know, a T-shirt and a tuxedo yeah, blazer, gosh. or you totally dress it down with a black roll neck. Yeah. I tend to dress sequins down rather than up, okay. just to get as much wear as possible, and so that they're the star of the show. Okay. So a bit of low-key cashmere. Yeah. Just and looks a bit more effortless, otherwise it's a bit, much. a bit bling sometimes. Would you tend to wear sequins on the bottom half versus top? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to think if I own a sequin top. Yeah. Definitely not. I think it's e it feels more relaxing. You're, you're right when yeah. it's sort of more casual against your face. I think so. You know, this kind of They're sometimes not that comfortable as no, well. No, like, true. Some scratchy neckline yeah. is not a good thing. No, these are fab. So these are fab. These are a great winter purchase. Do you think, nine, can I chip in on sequins? Yeah. And Zara's more my field. Um, <laughs> can you, um, uh, do you think a relaxed sequin pant yeah. is a better way of doing it than trying to be too, like, trussed up in, like, a tight, you know what I mean, too disco Oh, not, not necessarily. Oh, I've right, got okay. a pair of slightly cropped, flared black sequin trousers that, again, I wear with a black cashmere yeah. loose cardigan. And I wear them a lot, actually. Okay, so it's in about the proportion and balance, maybe. I think so. But I haven't seen a huge amount of these harming ones, so they're relatively unusual, I think. Yeah. And they're online now? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Get them, because they'll go. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is my granny, granny oh. chic knit that I love. I think if you're going to have a bit of fun with something in your wardrobe... Yeah. Let it be a knit, actually. Okay. Um, I love Hayley Menzies. Again, she's a London-based designer, and I like supporting these independent, um, up-and-coming people. Yeah. Um, but she's, she's quite a wild, yeah. eccentric aesthetic going on, and she works with a lot of knitted leopard print and yeah. tassels and pom-poms and um, this slightly quirky folksy, yeah. floral embroidery, which I love. It's not and necessarily it's everyone's of, cup of tea, no. but I, it makes me want to go to Soho Farmhouse and yeah. snuggle down with this and a pair of wellies oh, and it's some a floral real, like, dress underneath. mismatch, isn't it? It, is, it kind of like, doesn't real, quite work, but that's what makes it work. It's real escapism. Exactly. And I kind of love it with a bit of, yeah, love with a bit of what the leopard going on. Uh, but essentially, it's a really wearable piece. Yeah. It's gorgeous length. I love the tassel yeah, belt the detail. Again, the, the blues on sleeve going on and the texture to it, it's, it's lovely. It's just fun, isn't it? Is, it? It's, it's really good fun. You know, Again, great with a pair, of, a pair of jeans. Yeah, you can wear something really, you know, if I took off my blazer and I put that on now, it's kind of enough interest Do to it. wear it by itself. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, but then you can mismatch it and you know wear it with leopard and it look equally as exactly. interesting and exciting. Exactly. So yeah, it's Statement great. and comfortable. It's yeah. a win-win for me. Another piece of knitwear that's a, a little more Oh, staple and this a little really, more obvious really but to me <laughs> have we all got a million striped yeah. breton tops in our wardrobe yes incredibly useful but I, I feel this is a little bit different yeah again with a wider sleeve this really pretty high neck yes and i'm really into where tucking my jumpers in at the moment yes and wearing a higher waist 
trouser. Yeah. Uh, so I love the idea of this with kind of cargo pants or, or high-waisted yeah. leathers. Um, or you, equally, you can wear it out, but it's a little more fitted. Exactly. No, I love this. Isabel Moran, this one's, um, I think this is the Toile, does yeah. knits so, so well. And yeah. they're kind of a very classic style, but there's always just a little, a little something point of difference. that yeah. make them feel a bit more fashion forward, yes. um, but not too out there that, you know, next year they're going to date. So exactly. I think, um, and there's this, this colour wave, and then you have it in a quite a beautiful khaki brown yeah. as well, so you can do a stripe a little, a little differently. Okay. Amazing. Is, Amazing. Is that now wool? Some, sorry? Is that wool? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I think it, it's quite fine wool, so it's quite a light layer, but it'll okay. give you a little bit of warmth. Exactly. Um, speaking of warmth, we've got some amazing We've got a couple coats. of coats. Now, th this is, again, High Street. Zara. Zara. A nice bit of thread there. Oh. Um, doesn't look like Zara to me no. at all. It's a really good quality. It feels heavy. Yeah. And what's nice is it doesn't have any buttons at all. You just... Oh, wrap just this wrap. around and it's a nice you know some belts that you get on slightly cheaper coats yeah look a bit lightweight and it's yeah, a bit of a telltale good. sign that it's cheap this is a nice heavy belt going yeah, on it looks just really chic and timeless and ageless as well and it's a bit of a um it's a good mix of masculine and feminine you know yes, the, the, you're so right from the back pretty masculine look yeah. and then the belt lightens it it's a bit it's yeah. a bit more wearable it's not Love too that. heavy so that's a good find really from Zara. Really nice. And then we've got something a little bit more. Again, on. I'm on repeat with the old leopard print, <laughs> um, but I love this. Aww. I think Stan Studio are doing, they're just nailing great faux fur yeah. coats at the moment. You know, they've done all of those pastel coloured ones no, that oh, are so wonderful. But I think it's, again, it's quite unusual to have a belted yeah. leopard print. And it be double breasted again. It's and just it be kind of those little points of interest. Like this could be a vintage coat, couldn't it? But it just, I guess those details just make it feel a little bit more current. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, fab. And it's so, so soft. It's so soft and weighty and just gorgeous. Okay, amazing. Then we're going to finally end up on accessories before yes. we go into your style rules. Okay. So, so Jimmy some... Choo. Yeah. Loving a bit of Jimmy Choo oh at the moment. God. They've kind of had a well, they've always been super strong and yeah. high-end and gorgeous, but a slight reinvention with their new logo, yeah. which has a kind of 70s oh, feel to it. it. It's really slick and sophisticated, but quite bold at the same yeah. time. And their styles generally, they're quite fuss-free. So yeah. this, these bags are part of their Varenne um, collection. They've got like a bowling bag and a uh, cross-body bag, and they do clutches. They're really being very clever about what tones they use. Mm -hmm. They're really on trend. I'm loving this suede um tan yeah this is this is just oh, gorgeous. gorgeous as well then they've got bags in teal velvet yeah. and burnt orange uh they're really nailing it at the moment um their new kind of iconic classic bags i think yeah they're super simple I slouchy it, I so much in that you know it's not your traditional clutch bag there's, no. that's kind of there's so much more to that now my bags are getting bigger not not just here <laughs> um uh, the ones i'm using i used to wear quite small uh, crossbody ones yeah. and I'm gravitating towards slightly yeah. bigger, slouchier styles. I love this with a long boot, yes. that kind of 70s look. Yes, well, while we're talking about boots, yes. we just talk about these? Yes, please um, do. So I'm actually obsessed with those, the, the long knee-high Jimmy Choo's with the heel, which yeah. have got the JC there, but yeah. these are um, a little bit like less, less out there, I guess. Yes, they are. And why I love these is because, like a lot of working mothers, yeah. I have to juggle so much. I have to do a school run, run to a shoot, then go to a fitting. I, I have such a large collection of very high-heeled okay. knee-length boots that I adore, yeah. but I just can't run around yeah, town in them like cool. I used to anyway. Okay. Um, so I love these. I haven't really seen many kitten-heeled, no, point-heeled, right. knee-length boots until this season. Yeah. Um, Totem do an amazing pair as well, but uh, they don't look like uh, wellies. They no. don't look frumpy. Oh, not at two all. God, if my wellies great. look like that, I'd be out all the time. <laughs> I love the colour of these as well, actually. I think this plum colour is yes, really useful. Really nice. I love it with a bit of leopard. Yeah. Um, so I think they're a really savvy purchase, actually. Okay, and mm. you mentioned putting trousers in knee-high boots I now. do. I do. I love okay. an oversized blazer with, with fitted, especially grey jeans yes. and a pair of knee-length oh, boots. Creamy, amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, and then very quickly, before yes. we're running out of time, yes. we've got a um, necklace and a bag. Yes. So, oops, there Ooh. we go, there's a necklace. Um, 
I love this. Oh, this Cute is Cute little so number. Amazing. What a party bag. This is from Maison M, which does a very curated uh, selection of accessories and interiors. And I saw this on Instagram, thought that that's a really lovely yeah. buy, actually. Um, I always gravitate towards bows anyway. I love the fact you can kind of wear this over oh your, God, um, so over your wrist, like a, a kind of bracelet handle. Yeah. It looks quite vintage. You can do evening, that whole Kate Moss going to a wedding vibe yes. or just in a slightly eclectic uh, way with jeans yeah. uh, for evening. Um, but I, I love the fact it's so soft. So yeah. it looks effortless, but it's got a lot of drama to it as well. No, and so it comes in pale pink and dark brown. Oh, it's quite squidgy as well. It's lovely it's squidgy. It's got like a good, yeah. it's almost like a bit of a cushion. Ooh, I yeah. love that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, okay, let's retrieve your yes. necklace <laughs> from down here. So you say you love gold. Gold jewellery is a kind of a big yeah. thing for you. Yes, it is a big thing oh, for look me. Look at that. Um, there are lots out there at the moment. I mean, I, the one that I wear, I, oh, I got from Ferragamo years ago, and it was at the back of my... Um, wardrobe and I only just picked it up again, I just rediscovered it a couple of years ago and I've yeah. worn it a lot and I love putting it on with something quite masculine, so an oversized shirt, okay. a cashmere knit. I'd never wear it with anything too ladylike. Okay. I think you need that contrast. Uh, but this is a this is a goodie from um, Zara. From Zara. Nice twisted chain going on. Seventeen um, ninety nine. I mean, that is it's not such a bad. good piece. Um, and with gold jewellery, you've got to be a little bit careful that it's not going to um, discolour with yeah. perfume, which I don't think this looks like it will actually, but sometimes it's better to go high end with yeah. that kind of piece. But this is this is a pretty good chunky statement yeah. piece. I love that. Amazing. Okay, okay so you've talked that. a little bit about your style rules. Yes. Yeah. I'm running through that. So mm. um, what would be the kind of the key things that you sort of live by when you're okay. putting outfits together, when you're advising people, okay. what do you go to? Okay. Um, these, these are definitely rules that I live by, okay. um, bearing in mind I'm quite time poor. Okay. Um, but one thing I think all stylists bang on about the whole time is what's going on underneath. Yeah. So you should take a bit of time uh, to prepare undergarments. Okay. It just it makes all the difference. It celebrate any shape or size that you yeah. are, but if you can streamline it a little bit okay. and wear the right stuff, yeah. it... it, it will help your body confidence in general okay. and just things hang better. Yeah. And do you have go-to brands? Oh gosh, loads of from high end to uh, like okay. heist or I mean M&S. Yeah. Oh, M&S is the queen. Yeah. Point, yeah. Go into every every season or so, go and do a good underwear shop and okay. make sure that you're you're properly fitted and bras as well, okay. that kind of thing. Amazing. It's really important. Yeah. So this is my favourite of your rules and I feel like this will speak to Michelle's <laughs> team. You religiously fake tan your feet and I ankles. I do. I do. Isn't that great? I was going mm. to say, you look very bronze, your calf. Do they you know, look like not they look, overly like you look well, bronzed, I hope. You know, I mean, I don't really overdo it so I look like I'm wearing orange socks. Not at all. It looks I well. do give them a bit of a spritz because... Oh, it's such an easy thing to do the night the night before yeah. you've got an event. Um, but I love wearing mules and open toe sandals. And when you've got quite pasty ankles, your feet look bigger, yeah. they look like tombstones. It's it, just having a very <laughs> quick spritz. Oh. And oh, I can't tell you the difference it makes. No, it so just it's a little your mood. Whether other yeah. people notice or not, it's about how Absolutely. you feel yourself. So yeah, yeah I love that. Um, you've also got on here, outfits look more interesting with a bit of contrast, which you yes. touched upon. Yes, yeah, so it's a, it's a really um, easy trick, but uh, generally to make fashion interesting, uh, you, you can, especially with shoes, do the opposite of what you would normally go for. So if you're wearing quite a romantic dress, instead of going for something dainty, yeah. gravitate towards a chunkier shoe. Okay. And it's that, you need a bit of hard and soft. Yeah. You need that contrast. And likewise, if you're wearing quite a masculine suit, do the opposite and go for something yeah. a little more feminine. Yeah. So it's just that interesting um, contrast that makes a look um, come alive a bit more. Yeah, it feels a little unique, isn't it? Not too same yeah. samey. Um, another one you've got on is colour blocking is an yes. easy way to dress. Goodness me, yes. When you're really time poor, especially if you need to look particularly put together. Yeah. Just go for one colour. I'm hack, really into camel at the moment and I love mixing greens together. And they, you, you'd be surprised what greens actually work. So yeah. You can go for khaki and emerald green together yeah. and it really pulls an outfit together. It's just an easy, easy trick, especially when you're on the go, when you're washing around with kids, you've got a meeting, so you need to look quite yeah. um, well maintained oh, and, and it's always about. good just to have those kind of few outfits in your wardrobe that you know mm. those pieces match together they work and you kind of don't have to worry about too much about it absolutely such a good tip mm -hmm. um, and then your final one was yeah. start your outfit base with a fine knit and roll neck and boots yes. in a neutral shade yes 
So especially at this time of year, I I've got loads of dresses that kind of eke into this season a little bit that are still in my wardrobe. Yeah. And when you start layering up, it's such an easy rule. If you have a fine roll neck underneath okay. and then long boots, it's almost like a kind of fashion parenthesis. You, you, you're, you're top and tailing. Yeah. And you can Sound kind of chuck. Dressing. Yeah, you can yeah. kind of chuck anything over, even a silk, satiny yeah. slip dress. It suddenly looks very pulled together. Okay. So it's a, just a very quick, easy way of layering up at this time of year. Amazing. God, so many good tips. If you love Anna Starr as well, make sure you check out her fortnightly column on Shillettes because it is so, so brilliant. That is it for today. As usual, everything mentioned will be linked in the show notes below. If you love Anna Starr like we do, be sure to follow her at Anna underscore Bromelow. We'll be back on Thursday with our very exciting Abby Clancy special. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and tell your friends. Goodbye. <laughs>